What's up guys, we just got the LTO wrapped. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you before we get into the video. All right guys, let me know what you think of the new wrap, but for right now, we've gotta go ahead and swap the pedals out for the LTO to the Recon. The reason for doing this, the nose is nowhere near as tall as the body that was on it before. So when we're full throttle, the pedals are hitting the top of the body. So to prevent any problems, we're gonna take the pedals from the Recon, which are a much smaller pedal, and we're gonna go ahead and put them on the LTO. Spread the washer out. Put a washer on this side and I'm supposed to have a little clip like right here. And I'll have to go get one of those in a second. So for right now, we're just going to sit this in there. So when I was walking to the trash can, I seen something that caught my eye and I just had to go back and grab the GoPro for it. If you look really closely, there is a Black Widow spider that looks to have died from cold temperatures. If you can see it, there is a red hourglass on its stomach. That's how you tell that it's a Black Widow. These things are very dangerous. Anyone who knows them knows a bite can really turn into something nasty. So it's not a good sign to see these guys in our race shop. Hopefully the cold temperature kills them all, or at least gets rid of them until summertime. Alright guys, so we've got the pedal swapped out on both of these go-karts. Now we're going to go ahead and take the hubs off the LTO and the rear axle and get all of the bearings cleaned. All right guys, now all we do is pull up and remove the axle. We'll go ahead and sit that right there. All right guys, the parts washer that I've ordered hasn't came in yet. So right now we're gonna pour some mineral spirits in a spray bottle and we're gonna use that to clean our bearings out and uh, then we gotta re-lube them after we get everything cleaned. All right, so to clean the bearings, all you do is remove the shield, stick your finger in there, pull your bearing out, pull your little spacer out. Do the same thing on this side and uh, normally we do this outside I don't have to do it on a towel but it's like 11 o'clock at night then we take our mineral spirits in our spray bottle we don't have a parts washer uh, it hasn't came in yet and uh, we just spray everything with mineral spirits get everything clean flip them over 
All right, so after we get our air nozzle and after you've sprayed them with the mineral spray, All you're really doing is blowing all the mineral spirits and the dirt out. Put them back together. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put these back together. I've got everything lubed up. Just push them in like that, flip it over. Put your little spacer in there. I've already got them stuck together. And then we push it together like that. So I noticed when I was cleaning out the bearings, I hold my finger weird. And just to let you guys know, the reason I do that is because when I was younger, I had my finger partially amputated. It was cut off to about right here and they put all of this back on. Uh, the way that that happened was a guy was stuck behind our house in a mud hole in his Jeep. So we took our four wheelers down there. They have winches on the front of them. Mine got jammed up. So I had stuck my hand in there to pull it out. And when I did that, it malfunctioned and it sucked my hand, which was in the loop of the hook, into the witch and it pretty much ripped half of my finger off. So if you see me holding it out like this, uh, it's just something that I do. It's hard to work around it. It's very sensitive right in here. So I try not to touch it very often with uh, anything, but that's just why I hold my hand weird. Not sure if anybody noticed it, but I figured I would go ahead and throw that into the video. All right guys, so the next step is to go ahead and get the sleeves off of these axles so we can clean the bearings out. By the way, if anybody local around here in Virginia or North Carolina need any used tires, they've still got good edges on them. We basically don't use them anymore. I will give them away if you come get them. Just message me in the comments below if you're looking for some old tires. They would be great for Predator or great for Junior. We uh, normally don't flip them. We just go ahead and demount them and buy new. So if anybody wants some tires with one good edge left on them, please let me know. You can come and get them. All right, so basically we do the axles the same way. I'm not sure if you can see. There's a bolt right there that holds the bearing sleeve in. I've already loosened it up. Basically all you do is unscrew the bolt. Once you get it unscrewed, pull it out. That releases the bearing. Take the sleeve off and then you can get down inside of the bearing and completely clean it out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Uh, same method with this. We spray mineral spirits down in there. We normally do this one several times. Then I take the air nozzle and blow it out. We do this several times. All right, we're running out of air. I'm gonna have to go plug this back up and let it build back up. All right guys, next step is the chain. Uh, basically we do that the same way as well. We spray it with mineral spirits and then we just uh, spray air on it and get the dirt out. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the axle back in. It's very simple. You just line everything up. And then basically just tighten everything back up. But basically that's how we do it. Uh, I'm not saying that that is the way that you should do it. I'm sure there are better ways to do it. Like I said, if I had a parts washer, it hasn't came yet. It would be so much more easier. Uh, and I'm sure there's many other ways to do it, so I'm definitely not telling you this is how you should do it. Uh, don't be a critic in the comments and tell me that I'm doing it wrong. This is just my way of doing it. Alright guys, I've got the LTO ready. The hubs are in, the axle is back in. Everything is ready on this go-kart. 
Tomorrow I've got to go pick up my motors. I'm also going to buy a Duke car tomorrow for the Predator class. And I'm also getting a new Nerf bar for the Champ Buggy. As you can see, it's missing. I got into a little bit of a wreck. It bent the Nerf bar, nothing major, but I want to put a new one on it. Uh, we also got new decals in the seat over there. I'll show you those in just a second. Okay, so here's what the new decals are going to look like. Let me know what you think about them in the comment section. Basically what happened to this Champ car was they all wrecked in front of me. I had nowhere to go. I locked it up and slid into them, resulting in a bent Nerf bar instead of bending it back out. I went ahead and bought a new one with a new side panel. That is why we're putting new decals on here because we're going to have a new side panel. There's really nothing wrong with the ones we got, but I went ahead and got new ones since I was ordering my wrap and I got a better deal. But that's basically going to be the end of this video. Like I said, tomorrow I've got a pretty busy day. I got to go pick up a bunch of motors and a bunch of parts and then I got to come back to the shop and load up. I'll probably make that into another video. I'm really not sure. I appreciate all of you guys hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time.